Egan Bernal. The Colombian cycling prodigy has captivated the world with his extraordinary career. From defying death to returning to the Tour de France to his historic victory at the Giro d'Italia, Bernal's journey is a testament to resilience and triumph. But will he ever win again? In the heart of Colombia, a young boy's love for cycling was born. The country's captivating terrain would help mold the destiny of a future cycling champion. From a young age, Egan Bernal was determined to find a way to use a bicycle as a means to go from his humble beginnings to becoming the first Colombian to ever win the Tour de France. Having a love for the off-road, he initially focused on mountain biking, but 2014 was perhaps the biggest challenge of his young career so far. As he set out to make a name for himself and become Colombia's junior national champion, after lining up against the top talent in the nation, he was able to accomplish his goal, arming him with much needed confidence and momentum heading into the UCI Junior Mountain Bike World Championships, an event that brings the best riders from around the globe against each other to battle it out on the toughest course organizers can design. The winner of the race receives the rainbow jersey, which solidifies them as the best rider in the world. Although Egan was a formidable talent, in 2014 he would come up just short of the gold medal, instead winning silver. Even though he had failed to win the rainbow jersey, his recent performances weren't overlooked. With ample success on the mountain bike, Gianni Savio had developed interest in a young Egan. Gianni was the team manager for Androni. He decided to sign Egan to his pro continental team. If Egan wanted to achieve his ultimate goal, he would need to figure out how to shift his focus from mountain biking and prove that he could succeed on the road. His first year with the team was anything but fruitful, only winning one of his 17 races. But the following year, in 2017, Egan Bernal would bounce back. He lined up for the Tour de l'Avenir with support of his Colombian teammates. The event is a prestigious French stage race where many former winners have gone on to achieve success in high profile races such as the Tour de France. Bernal had competed in the race the previous year and would look to improve upon his fourth place finish. In stage seven, he took a step in the right direction after his teammate Ivan Sosa and Daniel Felipe Martinez set him up for a major attack. Bernal would catch the breakaway rider and not only win the stage but put himself into the leader's jersey, a move that put him one step closer to winning the race overall. But he was forced to defend his jersey on the very next stage. The only one who's up into the big ring. Uh, I think Bernal's just switched up into the big chain ring as well, getting ready for the sprint. Lambrecht winding it up on the right hand side there for Belgians. Looks like he's really leaning on things now and it quite opens things up. Starts to turn those pedals, putting some right force through, but so, so easily. The race leader got back into his slipstream. Only 150 meters to go now. The Belgian Lambrecht is leading things out, opens things up, and on the inside goes Bernal. Bernal goes in the yellow jersey. Bernal rounds the final corner. Who is going to take it to the line? A very, very tight finish here in his stage win number two for the Colombian. Two years into his career on the road, Bernal proved he had promising potential, and his performance garnered significant interest from world tour teams. But because he was bound by a contract, Bernal wasn't able to leave Androni unless a team was willing to buy out the remaining years on his deal. Team Sky, a prominent world tour team from the UK, was up to the task. And in 2018, after signing Egan, he would make his debut. They immediately gave him a load of responsibility, granting him co-leadership role at the Tour Down Under. At the early season event, he competed against some of the best riders in the world and managed to win the best young riders jersey and finish sixth overall. Egan would go on to compete in the Amgen Tour of California with the goal of winning his first world tour race. As the leader of Team Sky, he would need to outdo former Tour of California winner TJ Van Garden. Bernal managed to win stage two and stage six during the race. He also secured the overall race leader's jersey, finished first in the youth classification, and third in the mountains and points classification. It was clear Bernal belonged. His performances earned him a spot on Team Sky's 2018 Tour de France roster, the biggest race on the calendar. He would work as a domestique for team leaders Garrett Thomas and Chris Froome, eventually helping Garrett Thomas win the yellow jersey that year. The following year, Bernal was promoted to be co-leader of the team, with defending champion and teammate Garrett Thomas. But the race would not go as smoothly as they had hoped. During stage 19, chaos had officially arrived at the Tour de France. Bernal launched a late stage attack, breaking away from the leaders group, only accompanied by one other rider, Simon Yates. We wanted to crack out of sleep that day, without a doubt, we had to. I was feeling good. I knew Egan was good. We kept racing how we were. One of us would come away with the jersey. Come on, come on, come on, man. And Bernal now goes to the front. 
Bernal is only just getting no, started. Come on, come on again. We could be seeing history made for Colombian cycling. We're hearing that there is ice and mud on the road. Here it, it is. is. Fingers crossed for safety. Landslide right across the road. What on earth is going on? The stage is being abandoned. There is ice and mud on the road from the glacier. The girls were left with no choice but to abandon the race. He comes up the road and it was a, it was a great position. And then maybe three or 4K down the descent had I just heard Nico on the radio saying, oh, the, the race is neutralized, guys. Like, that's it. And it's kind of like, they tell us that they're going to take time from the, the top of the climb, whatever the gaps were there. That's what it is. You need to stay positive. But then at that point, Egan went into the jersey. That was it then. You know, it's kind of, as soon as Egan has gone into yellow, one day left. It didn't have to be said. Like, I knew that that's it, I need to, to ride for him. This place Bernal in the leader's jersey for good. It was a surreal moment and a dream come true. Egan had finally accomplished his lifelong goal, becoming the first Colombian to win the Tour de France. But in 2020, Egan was unable to defend his jersey. Uh, it was not going well from the first climb, to be honest. I almost dropped there. I was uh, suffering full gas from, from the first climb. I told to the team that I was uh, a block, but then I was, you know, trying to 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 fight in until until the final, giving my best. And uh, but uh, that's life, eh? That's life. That's cycling. We can't win every race, and uh, yeah, I did my best. After battling through back injury, he decided to drop out of the Tour de France that year. Motivated to accomplish more, Egan refocused and looked forward to 2021, where he would try to win his second Grand Tour, the Giro d'Italia. On the race's ninth stage, Bernal unleashed an attack that would lead to a historic mark in his career. This is a huge show from Egan Bernal. Vlasov is still there. Even a pool is distance. Bernal, after all, is he going to break the hearts of the two riders at the front? Look how fast he's going up the road. Ciccone, they sweep past Baron and Bouchard, leaving them for dead. Ciccone's beaten. Bernal's going to win this. Bernal is going to take the Maglia Rosa on one of the most famous days of racing in recent history as well. He's on the gravel here on this massive stage that has been brutal from start to finish and one rider one rider above all rises to the top and takes the win so it was his first ever grand tour stage win it also placed the pink jersey on his shoulders emerging with a 15 second lead in the general classification over remco evanpool on stage 16 bernal took his second stage win of the race giving him a lead in the overall standings of almost two and a half minutes the Maya Rosa seemed to be in Bernal's hands for good, but on stage 17, the jersey started to slip through his grips. Rival Simon Yates distanced Bernal, cutting the gap between them by almost a minute, ultimately leaving Egan in desperation, receiving help from his teammate and friend, Danny Martinez. He would go on to secure the pink jersey in the final time trial in Milan, making history again and becoming the fourth rider to win both the Tour de France and the Giro before reaching the age of 25. But the very next year, his career and life would change forever. In January of 2021, Bernal was training with his teammates in Colombia. Focused on his training while on his time trial bike, he was unaware of what lied just ahead of him. Moments later, he hit the back of a park bus at high speed. The damage done by the accident was significant, leading to a fractured vertebrae, a fractured right femur and right patella, chest trauma, a punctured lung, and several rib fractures. Bernal was immediately taken to a hospital for treatment as doctors fought to save his life. There they accounted for 20 separate fractures and warned there was a 95% chance Bernal would die or be paralyzed. By the 25th of January and after two surgeries, Egan Bernal was stabilized. And to everyone's surprise, he recovered well enough to return to racing that same season. Since his life-changing accident, Egan Bernal has yet to win another race. But in 2023, he took a step in the right direction by returning to the podium, finishing third in Colombia's national championships. Egan has already surmounted the enormous challenge of making it from a small town to becoming the first Colombian to win the Tour de France. But naturally, fans wonder if Bernal will ever be able to overcome his injuries and return to the top step at Grand Tours. But after all of the success he's achieved so far and making it through a death-defying moment alive, does he need to? What's your dream for the rest of your career? Uh, be again in my best level and I would love to 
to compete uh, against the, the the best guys being also me in the in my best shape i'm not saying like i want to to beat them but i just want to compare myself with with them you know it would be it would be great to have one at least one year you know one good battle against them and and to see and also of course uh, la vuelta would be could choose a a, a race I, I could win for sure would be la vuelta that, that way i i would win like the, the three victors keep enjoying what i'm doing for sure i i, I will continue and uh, but of course in, in good level i don't want to to be just in the group all days